if I lost Strongman, I think I'd actually lose myself, to be honest. If you're not willing to give your all for 60 seconds, then you shouldn't be fucking doing it. You shouldn't be in the sport. This man is known as the future. I do not care about really anything but winning. He's representing England and his name is Luke Richardson! To be honest, growing up, I'd actually say I was a bit of a knob. Um, I was an arrogant little bastard. I did have a chip on my shoulder. I have no idea why because you know, I've come from a very normal, nice family. All I wanted to do was win stuff. I just wanted like, you know, the feeling of beating people, of, of being the best at something. And, you know, I sort of searched that through my whole childhood. If there was a sport I wanted to be the best at, it didn't matter what it was. I didn't care about anything else like, you know, maths and all that, I'd give that up. But, you know, if there was a PE lesson, I wanted to be uh, the, the top achiever. If I was, you know, playing on a football pitch, I wanted to be the best player and then, you know, that's obviously gone over to powerlifting where I sort of discovered maybe my gift, <laughs> which is strength. And then, you know, it didn't take me long to get carried away in that. But yeah, I don't really know what's wrong with me, to be honest. And I would say there's actually something wrong with me. Um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't see myself living sort of the life that you sort of brought up to be expected to live. It's just not for me. Um, you know, it's not that I've got anything against people that do, you know, I sometimes actually wish I could, but I'm, I'm, I'm just wired this way and I can't remember a time when I wasn't. I had an opportunity to do Strongman earlier. I could have started Strongman when I was 18, 19, you know, the gym I was training at, but I waited until I was 22. And sort of from 19 to age 22, my static strength just, well, I, I, I think you could have taken, you know, most pro Strongmen and put them in these sleeves in powerlifting rules and how to beat them. So I think that base strength has sort of given me a massive advantage in the way that I've come over already being strong and I've just had to learn how I do things. Obviously I'm still learning, you know, I'm nowhere near the finished article, you know, it'll probably take me at least probably another five years until I feel like I'm getting towards that. But, you know, I, I think it was the right thing to do. You look at every other great strong man that's gone on and done absolutely amazing things. Bill Kazmaier was the first one to do it, came over, a two-time world powerlifting champion, regarded as one of the greatest ever, Big Z. Big Z came over from the IPF the same way I did, probably at a similar age, and you know, he was the greatest strongman of all time. There's just something, there's just something in me that has just always been like, kind of, I don't want to be like everyone else. To the point that, you know, it's, it's led me to some pretty dark places in my life before, because, you know, you have, standards that society puts on you and you know there's expectations to sort of live like everyone else and it's it's taken me to some places where sort of I've had to come out of that and sort of learn a bit more about myself but obviously it's lent itself quite well to my profession and what I'm doing now which is you know a pro strongman but I can remember from when I was seven or eight years old walking home from school just thinking like, I'm gonna be a pro sportsman one day you know I don't know if it's because you know I am one of three brothers so that competitive rivalry, or I'm just a middle child, like, and I've got middle child syndrome, I don't know. Um, but yeah, sort of growing up primary school, my mum worked at my primary school and they'd be like, what's wrong with him? Like, you know, what's actually wrong with your son? And they used to punish me, because I'd go to, even at high school, I can remember being like in year eight, year nine, playing basketball games. And I'm like, try to carry the team. And if, if we lost, I would literally throw a tantrum and cry, because like, I wanted to win that much. Uh, which is probably why I've ended up going into individual sports because, you know, I'll still, I'll still lose and I'll still get angry and I'll still cry, but at least I can sort of only blame myself. So I'm a dysfunctional person who's just really good at doing one thing, um, you know, and I can't see myself doing anything else. And if I, if I did, then if, if I lost Strongman, I think I'd actually lose myself, to be honest. this part of my life you know it's just sort of been like I've just been completely misunderstood by absolutely everybody the age I am now you know luckily I've got I've got really good people around me you know I've got quite a few I've got I've got more people than I've ever had in my corner that I feel they understand um, because I feel like you know all of us don't really know what's going on in everyone else's heads and the amount of pressure that you put on yourself as a person as well to perform I do think that you know it is it's definitely a, a, a lonely a lonely road to walk and you'll find 
very few people that will actually be willing to sort of walk it with you. When I was younger, I was probably Luke Richardson and then Luke Richardson the powerlifter. And then like early in my strongman career, it was like, I was Lou Richardson and I was like Luke the future Richardson, like everyone sort of getting hyped up about it. Whereas the older I get, the less I actually care. Um, like I'm Lou Richardson and like if I want to post something, I'll post it. If I don't, I don't. If people like me, cool. If they don't, cool. Especially after Worlds last year where I didn't perform as well as I wanted to. And I think a lot of people thought that I underperformed, which I'd probably agree with them. I think it sort of just made me step back and evaluate and sort of think of things a bit differently and think like, you know, am I doing this for other people or am I doing it for myself? You know, and I am doing it for myself because I do this completely selfishly. Like, I do not care about really anything but winning. You know, I, I, don't, I don't really have to dig deep in myself or anything. I've grown up always wanting to be there. And then when you actually get there, you know, you're competing for points, it's the win. I wouldn't go out thinking, oh, think of that thing that really annoyed me because I think that negative association with something will probably actually take your attention off what you're actually trying to do. You know, especially on the, the grim events, like where you've got a grim and bear stuff, like Conan's hammer hold, max distance stuff, you just think, you know, this is 60 seconds of your life for what you've worked and what you've lived for since as long as you can remember. So if you're not willing to give your all for 60 seconds, then you shouldn't be fucking doing it. You shouldn't be in the sport, like what are you doing? That's my approach anyway. You know, if you can sit here and say, I live for this, and then you won't even, you know, go to death for 60 seconds, then you need to get the fuck out because it's not for you. When you actually look at World's Strongest Man, there's six events in the final and they've all got a one minute time limit. And you know, most of them are even, one of them might be one lift. You know, the Atlas Stones, you might finish in 30 seconds, but say you just generically said there was five minutes. Like five minutes could completely change your life. So like, you're telling me that you couldn't sit there and endure like the worst pain in the world for five minutes to have everything you ever wanted. Like, of course you can. If I ever didn't win World's Strongest Man, I couldn't look at myself. I, I just really struggle to imagine me ever being happy in a really, really silly, deep way. Because I can imagine when I win one world, I want to win two. And then when I want to win two, I'll win three. You know, three will be four, four will be five. And, you know, I just think I'll get to the end and I'll always sort of be like, I could have done more, I want to do more. I just can't see myself ever wanting to, like, stop. Mm -hmm.